YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and I've got another exciting PC build. Let me walk you through it. So many of you may know by now, I love building computers. And about half a year ago, I guess about six months ago, I was fortunate enough to take that passion of building computers and have it be backed up by a great sponsor, which is MSI. So when I want to build computers, I'm lucky enough that they will send me motherboards uh, to help me build these computers and it satisfies that itch I have as a builder. Absolutely love building. Well, we all know that not that long ago, AMD launched their Ryzen Threadripper series that use a TR4 socket. And MSI was kind enough to send me this absolute beauty of a motherboard it is the X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. The Gaming Pro Carbon AC is going to make up the base of this build. MSI has a great motherboard here uh, that provides that high level experience for gamers and gives you all of the features that you may want and all of the power that you need to run an awesome gaming rib based on AMD's Threadripper. So what are some of my favorite features on this board? Well, it comes with plenty of M.2 slots. If you are a gaming enthusiast, you love M.2. They are small. They don't take a lot of cords. They're clean. They're easy to hook up. They don't take any cords, actually. That's one of the things that's awesome. And they are extremely fast. Um, of course, Threadripper comes with 64 PCIe lanes, which means that you can run a ton of PCIe stuff, like an SSD. Um, so you have plenty of M.2 connections so that you can run those all at full speed. Um, so that's one of the awesome features. I think the next awesome feature I like to talk through is the, uh, well, a couple of things. One, um, I love the aesthetic of this board. And along with the aesthetic, you have the Mystic Light app. So let me put those two together. The board has a very nice black and gray uh, theme to it with some steel color. Makes it very neutral. You can go with a lot of different color schemes. Um, and it makes this board very appealing both to those who want to build that very colorful RGB build and then also those who really like to just keep things relatively calm and simple with that black or grayish color as well. You can turn off the LEDs on the motherboard or you can use the Mystic Light app to sync or individually run the RGB lights on your motherboard, your graphics card, your keyboard, your headphones, your mouse, um, or the RGB light extensions. Um, this motherboard comes with both a normal 5050 RGB header, and it also comes, and I can't remember the numbers, but it comes with a rainbow header, meaning that you can even plug in individually addressable LED strips, which is really cool if you like to go for that purely psychedelic um, uh, type of build. So aside from aesthetics, uh, another great feature in this board is the Game Boost knob. It is a small knob found, if you're looking at it, it'll be to your bottom right of this motherboard. Um, and that Game Boost knob allows you to use pre-built overclock profiles. What does that mean? Well, a pre-built overclock profile is great if you're someone like me who loves to build computers and you want the most out of it but you are not at that professional level of overclocking. You don't know all the voltage settings. You don't know all the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the ring or yeah, DRAM settings that you should use. You don't know um, the, uh, what you should do in terms of the CPU multiplier and everything else. So they have these pre-built profiles that you can go use. And what I like to do is go to that pre-built profile, check out the performance, and then I will just moderately tweak a couple of the, the settings until it falls right in where I want it, which makes this an awesome tool for an amateur overclocker like myself and potentially like you, if that's what you're into. So aside from all those features, it's got a ton of other features. It has USB 3.1 uh, Type-C, and that's available on the that rear I.O., and it also supports it on a front I.O. if your case supports it. Um, there's plenty of USB headers. Uh, there are plenty of fan headers. Uh, there's at least four system fan headers. There's four USB headers, I believe. Lots of room for SATA, uh, SATA ports, um, the M.2, I've mentioned, you, this thing has buku when it comes to expandability, tons of PCIe uh, support, you can run up to four-way SLI and Crossfire, um, depending on whether you're using NVIDIA or Radeon cards, and of course with the PCIe lanes that get offered to you by Threadripper, that's a very real potential for you to go use all that up. On top of that, it's got audio boost, it's got VR boost, both things that are uh, geared towards helping you maximize your gaming experience with awesome sound and making sure that your VR signal is as strong as possible coming in from the VR unit through the USB. 
This board is meant to maximize the power, and believe me, Ryzen Threadripper is a power-hungry chip. This thing is a 16-core, 32-thread, 4 gigahertz monster. Absolute monster, and I believe it's rated at 180-watt TDP, so you better believe you're going to need the great power delivery system that MSI builds in, and you're going to need yourself quite the power supply as well. Now, on top of MSI sending me this awesome gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard, uh, Cooler Master pitched in, and uh, they're also sponsoring here. Uh, Cooler Master uh, sent this uh, Master Liquid 240 all-in-one liquid cooler. This is two 120 millimeter fans on the radiator. Uh, and here is the water block, of course, down here. This is a great cooling unit. I have used the Master Liquid 120 before. It was fantastic. I used it on my Ryzen build. And now we're going to use the Master Liquid 240, which I'm sure will be equally awesome in this case, to keep this power-hungry processor cool. So again, why am I doing this build? For fun. I love this type of thing. So I wanted to do this for fun. I asked MSI to send me the board. I have the motherboard. Let's get building. I made this hopefully a little more interesting for you. I put together a, um, a uh, time lapse where you can watch me build it from beginning to end rather quickly. Uh, and that way there's not this big, long, drawn out video. I give you some nice eye candy of the parts in there too. You can tell me what you think of the parts and what some of your favorite builds have been in the past. Hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. Really appreciate MSI feeding my passion of building computers. I am very privileged and excited to be able to put together such awesome machines and have the opportunity to get hands on with this equipment. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm just kidding. There's further ado. I forgot something cool. See these carbon plates here? The uh, IO plate and the heat sink plate. They all come with replacements and you can even custom 3D print your own. They're super easy to change, and this would be a really cool feature for me to leave out. Yes, that's an aesthetic feature, but it's pretty sweet because it lets you customize the board however you want. You could go print your own, put your logo on it, put whatever you want on it, but look how cool. I, you know, I put the gold on here, and it actually looks pretty freaking amazing. You just use a screwdriver to loosen up the edge of the, um, the heat sink plate and the auto boost plate. The Gaming Pro plate you can get with your finger. Uh, I think they call it the I.O. plate. Once you get them off, like, it is stupid easy to snap the next one on. It comes with a gold and silver color replacements, but like I said, you can get patterns from MSI and go have it 3D printed um, to put on anything custom that you want. Really cool, customizable feature, especially in a PC marketplace flooded with options to really customize your own rig. So not only do you have stuff like Mystic Light, you have this kind of thing too to where you can bring the ultimate custom feel again the carbon ones giving you very neutral you can also use the silver colored ones or that gray colored uh, honestly this gold was looking pretty sweet and i was just getting some ideas in my head about how cool it would look with like some uh, gold colored power cables and everything too so really cool feature now without further ado on to the actual build <laughs> 